The Google Nexus 5 gets leaked in the Play Store and brings us a lot of details. Android 4.3 starts rolling to a batch of Samsung Galaxy devices, but not all of them. And Apple retains a multi-touch patent that could mean trouble for competitors. I'm Jaime Rivera. And please, Apple, today is Friday, and it is not time for another patent soap opera part two. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Ad Duplex is now providing market stats for Windows Phone. And yes, it's no secret, Nokia's owning the market, but guess by how much? The company owns a staggering 90% of the market when compared to HTC, Samsung, and Huawei, but guess which phone is actually winning that race? It turns out to be the budget-friendly Lumia 520, and if you want to look at the 920, for example, it owns like a 9% of the market. And then the Lumia 1020 is actually nowhere to be found, which makes us worried. Could this be that, uh, you know, uh, Windows Phone is turning to the next budget operating system? Let's see. Let's continue talking about Samsung as their update to Android 4.3 is now rolling to the Galaxy S4, but not every model. Obviously, it's going out to the international Exynos Octa i9500 and the LTE variant of the international model i9505. If you're like us in the United States, you will not be getting the update just yet, and we do not have any dates. And for those of you that are waiting for the update on the Galaxy Note 2 and Galaxy S3, well, November is probably your date but then again, that's for the international variants as well, as we do not know when the US carriers are getting anything. So, oh well. Now let's talk about Sony as the company is working on a new technology along with the Xi standard that will allow them to charge a phone wirelessly in less than an hour. Yeah, less than an hour. Now, obviously, for a company that's currently abetting batteries altogether, then this does make a lot of sense since you really can't replace the battery anyways. But the only catch here is that sadly the technology will be ready until 2014 and not for the early high-end lineup of smartphones that gets announced at CES. I'm talking about probably what we will be getting at IFA in the second half of 2014. So the technology is coming. I just do not think it'll be backwards compatible. Now let's talk about Apple and the U.S. Patent Office, a combination that a lot lot of people dread, but as it turns out, the government agency has decided to uphold a patent for multi-touch that will benefit Apple, and this is actually that patent that allows you to ignore certain swipes whenever you're scrolling along a website, which is really smart on iPhones, but obviously this was the same patent that got a lot of Samsung phones banned a couple of months ago, or probably a couple of years already, and this standard is already being used by a lot of Android phones at the moment, so let's hope that this does not become another soap opera, but Obviously, Tim Cook is not the same guy as Steve Jobs was, so let's see how that goes. And finally, for the hot news of the day, I think Google has just intentionally leaked their Nexus 5 on the Google Play Store, and this is the smartphone that we're waiting for. We're talking about a Snapdragon 800 processor, a 5-inch display with LTE, and the 16 gigabyte model that is starting at 349 bucks. Yes, this phone is going to be awesome, and it just takes us back to the time of the Nexus One, which is an awesome phone, and it's time, though we are getting some press invites for October 24th, but I would not relate these because this press invite is focused on the Google Play Store. But anyways, that leads to the question of the day. Speaking of the Nexus 5, is this the phone that you're buying this holiday season? I mean, 349 bucks, all those specifications. In my particular case, honestly, Google, you are taking too long. My money is waiting. I have not bought anything and I am just waiting for this phone. So um, please release it now. And friends, as always, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and telephone world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.